Hello, my lovely earth signs. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to the reading for the remainder of February. Um, so we're just going to get general information from your past, present, and future. And then we'll go ahead and get some messages from the universe. We'll also take a look at your challenges to see what you guys need to work on. Now, thank you guys for the love and the support, the likes and the subscribes. For those of you who are new and if you haven't done it already, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you can stay alert when I post more of these videos for you. Read the information and the disclaimer in the description box down below. I will be posting your timestamps um, for each particular sign because it, it would be a lengthy reading, by the way. <laughs> um, so we're just getting only the remainder of February for you guys, seeing what you guys are going to be working on, okay? Um, I think that pretty much wraps it up. Now, keep in mind, this is just a general reading, um, so it's not going to resonate with everybody. And if you do find that this video resonates with you, then be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, leave a comment down below because it helps pick up on your energy for future reads, okay? So let's go ahead and start shuffling the cards. I mean, I already pre-shuffled, but let me go ahead and do it again anyway. Whoops. That sucked. Oh. It's getting away from me here. start with Taurus. Let's see what you guys have going on. Oops. I hope you guys are doing well. So far, beautiful energy I'm seeing here. They want me to add another one for this one, which is interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and get your challenge card. Let's get your challenge card. You have the Four of Cups as your challenge, and then let's go ahead and get your outcome card. And then we'll go ahead and clarify these cards for you guys. Whoops. Okay. So in the recent past, you have the Two of Wands. In the present, you have the Empress. And then what you don't see coming or in the near future, you have Justice and the Ten of Wands. So let's go ahead and clarify. And just so we can focus on this here first. On the Two of Wands, let's get some clarification. Because I see here, there was something you guys were kind of like contemplating or struggling about as far as moving forward. Some of you are feeling stagnant. Others of you, you're just comfortable where you're at, not needing to move, but you're also wanting to go into a certain direction here. I'm getting traveling plans. Okay. I think these are shuffled good enough, I hope. So the Two of Wands is clarified by the Knight of Swords, <clears throat> and then you have the Eight of Pentacles, and you have the Devil card. Let's go ahead. Oops. Normally I don't read anything in reverse, but we'll go ahead and leave it that way, as that's how it's intended. <clears throat> Okay. You know what? <laughs> Let me pull one more. We'll go ahead and do that. Whoops, 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 whoops. Let's 
go ahead and get one more. Okay, so I see where you guys have been focusing more so on your finances, your career. You guys have just been heading in that direction. You know, when it comes to like creating new projects, new line of work, career opportunities, you know, with other people. I'm also seeing some type of stubbornness. Now this can go multiple ways here. One scenario that I am picking up on is the inability to cooperate or work with others due to some level of disrespect or just, you know, pure in alignment. Like there's no alignment here. There's no connection. There's no alignment. There's a lot of misunderstanding. Um, <clears throat> hopefully you guys can see these cards clearly. But, uh, I mean, overall I am seeing where you guys are more focused on your on your goals here. Like you're finding it difficult to trust people, to trust situations. Could be family, friends, people that you're working with. Um, you are finding it difficult to trust them. They could have played you, they could have hurt you, they could have, you know, mistreated you, they could have gotten away with a few things, you know, as far as uh, like some sneakiness or secrets behind your back. Um, that's what's coming out, especially here with the devil card. This is in regards to other people, which is causing you to move in a certain direction or move away from the situation or needing to move away from the situation. Um, they want me to pull more cards on this as well. So this is something that you guys have been dealing with, you know, when it comes to, you know, your overall success, your overall abundance. What else did they want me to pull on this two of wands here? You have the truth coming to light, you, you know, you being able to finally see people for who they are. Because some of you weren't able to, but it talks about, here you have the moon card. You're moving on and you're moving forward. You're learning to detach, you're learning to let go for your own personal growth. Leaving behind what no longer serves you because you have the Knight of Swords and then you also have the Knight of Wands here. So a lot of fast movement and you have the Knight of Pentacles. So a lot of fast movement in a sense as far as moving away from whatever the situation is. I'm also picking up here that you guys were also conflicted about a particular partnership, connection, relationship here. Um, and also something to do with the settlement. But I am getting, because you also have the King of Cups, and then like I said, you also have the Knight of Wands. Um, but I am getting overall mistrust and people just simply not being honest about what they say they're gonna do about who they are there's a lot of masks around you in the midst of you working hard you working on yourself you doing everything that you possibly can to change certain things certain situations around for the better um you know but i do see where all of that is paying off because you guys are ready to move forward you guys are ready to to expand but I'm getting that this is more so other people than you some of you it could be you it could be the way that you're trying to manipulate a situation it could be you giving into temptation you going into a certain direction that you know maybe isn't like the best I guess you could say like it's It's both, you know, what I just stated and what I was stating before, it's both, but I'm also getting here that you guys have, you know, this tendency to manipulate things your way, you know, kind of like a puppet master type thing, 
but I'm also seeing here, especially the minds, like I'm hearing manipulate the minds. You guys tend to do that with other people just to see what they're about, to you know, try to get under their skin, see who they are, see what their, you know, their true colors are like, just to find whatever truth that you can get um, about them, about the situation, about where you guys stand. But I'm also seeing more so, you know, with your circle of friends, even with your past relationships here, where people have deceived you, where people have played you, where people have lied to you, you weren't able to get along with a lot of people because they just, they weren't trustworthy, they weren't being truthful, they weren't being honest. So you've been doing all the work that you can, especially with unveiling the truth and just overall moving forward in a direction that you need to be moving into just to leave it all behind. Because even you yourself, you guys know that it's not, um, it's not serving you. But I do see where you guys are coming out being successful. I do see overall, you know, the changes that you guys are making or planning on making here. Like you're more focused or was focused on, you know, your, your stability here. But then there were certain individuals, certain people that just kept getting in the way that wasn't necessarily, you know, supposed to be there. But this all has to do with you pursuing your dreams, pursuing somebody or something. Okay, I'm going to keep these cards separate just so I can be able to, actually, I'll just keep them here. All right, so moving on, we'll go ahead and get the present moment. We will get the present moment for Taurus. Let's see what's going on right now with the Empress. Let's clarify the Empress. beautiful energy here very beautiful energy so in the present moment it seems that you guys are you know pretty much like in a happy you know overall you're healing and that's what's making you happy that's what's making you glow that's what's making you you know becoming more alive and feeling yourself for others of you there's a need to go within there's a need to heal you're probably waiting for something to come along, some type of message, some type of confirmation here to get the green light to do something. And what I am seeing is that for the most part, This really has to do more so with you guys' healing at this time. I'm also hearing something to do with production or reproduction system. Some of you could be pregnant or have gotten somebody pregnant. Let's see what else. Because this, it really is beautiful. Like it's... What else is going on? What are we not knowing, doing? <laughs> what else is going on in the present moment for you guys? Yep, you guys are just focused on your growth. You guys are focused you have the seven of pentacles the ace of wands and the emperor so this is you guys you guys right now you're driven you're focused for the most part what it looks like it seems that you guys are heading in the right direction i am getting maternity here so the person that you're with seeing talking to or at least the energy that's attached to you at this time 
could be a mother figure, baby mother, wife. Like I see where you guys are coming together even with a child or children. Trying to make everything, you know, more pleasing, more, you know, more pleasant, more positive. Like I see that's also where you guys are focused too. Moving forward, I'm also getting certain questions here. I mean, it's not necessarily showing like in the cards, but I'm also getting like there's certain, there's like certain questions surrounding, you know, the situation surrounding your, your level of happiness which for the most part seems like you guys are. <laughs> it seems like you guys are content at least or satisfied. Um, moving forward and moving on, it just seems that that's where you guys are at. Like you're willing to take the necessary actions and steps to making things work, to making things happen in all areas of your life. Having better relationships, trusting your intuition, your guidance, following your heart following the signs not ignoring the signs because everything is there um but it keeps going back to this particular person so let me go ahead and look into that because it keeps going back to a specific person and it keeps going back to that same mother figure here that same mother figure so let's what can you tell me about that? Is this somebody that you guys are in love with? Is this somebody that you guys are seeing, trying to build a family with? What's going on here? Okay, so you're trying to build a steady foundation with this person. That's also what I'm seeing here in the present moment. There's something that keeps crossing your mind, crossing your heart. But I see overall where you guys are trying to make things work in the present moment with a specific person. I see it being successful in a sense that, you know, everybody would be happy. I see love here. I'm not sure if you guys are in love or there's just love for one another. Let's see what else can we get here for this particular person. Because I am getting that this is somebody that you guys do have a family with. So there's definitely some changes. Definitely some type of changes here. You also have... So you have the Two of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the King of Wands, then you have the Judgment, the Justice, and the Queen of Cups. So this person definitely, I just heard favored the most. So perhaps this is someone that you do really care about, someone that you do want a future with or a beginning with. You do have a child with, boy or girl. And you're just doing everything that you can to keep everything balanced. But there's something, there's a particular decision that you need to make, or maybe there's just something that you need to communicate moving forward as far as, you know, what you see yourself doing, even with this person, having that life, having that family. What else can we get on this situation? Yeah, so there's something that's constantly on your mind that's constantly keeping you guys up as far as this decision that you guys want to make here. Um, <clears throat> moving forward, moving on, once again, with this particular person. You have the Five of Swords, the Fool, and the Knight of Swords. So there's something that's really aching you. There's something that is, you know, almost like breaking your heart as far as stepping into this new beginning, this newness with this particular person. Um, I'm also getting another situation, so it could be multiple people involved in this scenario, in this situation. You have the world, you have the nine of wands, and you have the four of pentacles. And then here you are as the king of pentacles. So I mean, 
it's very interesting because I'm not necessarily seeing like love love like I could feel the energy there like as if you have love for somebody you know that you d you care deeply for them you're willing to take care of them you're willing to do whatever it takes that you can you know to provide for you and your children or child they want me to let's pull something on this four pentacles over here because i'm seeing where you guys are carrying a load here i'm seeing where you guys are carrying a heavy load Okay, so the Four of Pentacles is clarified by the Hangman, the Eight of Swords, and the Six of Wands. So you're learning to detach or learning to offer yourselves up a little bit, you know, while still maintaining your own energy, your own peace of mind. Um, becoming more stable, more grounded, more available, but I'm also hearing not available at the same time. So whatever you're giving into in regards to the situation, there's some type of attachment here. And once again, it could have to do with kids. Either you not letting go, they're not letting go, but there's a need for a detachment here. But I'm not seeing that so much. Like I'm seeing that, you know, you guys at this at this time, you're just you're willing to attach, but at the same time, you have messages here talking about you detaching, you letting go, you cutting yourself free from whatever, you know, mental trapments, whatever um, bondages that you have, whatever attachments, whatever it is, it's just a matter of you cutting, you know, that cord. It's like you have the sword here right behind your back. You can take that sword and cut those strings and release yourself from it. You can take the, the, the blindfold off and just see how clear everything can be. Just see how easy everything could be. I mean, it might not be easy to handle whatever the situation is, but you will be able to get through with it if you take the blindfold off and release yourself from it. It's like some of you, I'm also seeing here that some of you keep going in the same pattern and the same cycle here. The world card also talks about cycles here. Um, it does talk about new beginnings, however, but there's a particular cycle that could be ending, especially here with the Ten of Wands. Um, it might be a painful ending, doesn't necessarily have to be, but there's a lot of feelings and emotions involved in this connection or multiple connections because I, I was also picking up on multiple people here in this present moment, in this situation. So you guys are going to have to be able to figure out for yourselves what it is that you want to do, what is it that makes you happy moving forward. Right now you're being, you know, stuck in this situation, but not stuck like in a negative way. You're just, you're choosing to be in this situation. So, I mean, of course, a new birth, a new rebirth, and it doesn't necessarily have to be anybody physically. For those of you who don't have kids or aren't expecting a kid, it could just have to be you personally needing to change, needing to let go, needing to release. There's constant, you know, bickering, going back and forth, wanting to start a new relationship, wanting to start a new connection, or just wanting to start something new overall. It doesn't necessarily have to be with a particular person, but just wanting something new. Which could also be birthing, you know, some new creation here, some new identity, some new feelings, some new project, some new you know, whatever it is that you're passionate about. It could also have to talk about you nurturing and healing yourself once again. You, you know, completing those cycles, completing and learning from those lessons moving forward. So there's a lot of scenarios here. There's a lot of things here in the present moment. Um, let's go ahead and move on to your next cards. Okay, so they want me to do the challenges. So we'll go ahead and do the challenges first, I guess before we move on to the next one um all right so let's see what do we have here for the four of cups what oops what do we have here for the four of cups for the challenges for taurus You have the strength you have the four of swords and you have the ace of swords and then here at top you have the three of swords 
so whatever it has to do it could have to do with love it could have to do with a partnership that's what i'm picking up on here um it doesn't necessarily have to but it could just be you know whoever or whatever this energy that's attached to you or you attached to it you know it has to do with um there's something that you're not willing to let go but there's something you're also not willing to see and accept but you're trying to have the strength and the courage to move forward you're trying to have the strength and the courage to go through this because i do see that you guys are handling this alone um and you don't necessarily need to but i do and it's it's like it's painful like i could feel it i could really feel your heart remember last reading or maybe the previous re whichever reading you know i really felt like that love that you guys had for your person you know the person in question but here i'm not seeing so much of them this is just more about you of course but i am seeing where it's it really hurts it's painful some of you guys have a hard time sleeping some of you guys have a hard time understanding but you also it's like you know what you want especially here with the ace of swords it's like you know what you want it's just at this time whoever whatever this is you do not have it not at this time your challenges have more to do with you being able to see things clearly you being able to let go and resist you know stop resisting the change stop resisting you know the the, the personal growth here that you guys are embarking because you guys are awakening you guys and it's also challenging too it feels as though it's challenging because of everything that's going around because a lot of you are more focused on the material and physical world here that you're not able to actually tune in and listen you know from within so what else do they have you have the two of wands you have the four of cups again and the ten of cups so a lot of you are like in dreamland right now a lot of you are wishing and dreaming and thinking about a particular person thinking about an ending of a particular connection or relationship that might have went sour you're also thinking about you know this future with this person or a person some of you it could have to do with your career losing a job or not having one but i'm also getting do not let time and everything pass you by there's just a matter of patience here because you will get your wish fulfillment you will get everything that you want here with the ten of cups i'm hearing with grace you will be able to get it um it's just it's it's not so happy it's not so fulfilling it's not so i don't know the other word for it but i just lost the word but it's because you guys are traveling on this journey alone and it's like you know for once you guys want to have somebody there with you somebody that you can trust somebody that you can rely on or count on you do want this particular person i'm not seeing so much that it was with um whoever this person in your in your present moment i'm not seeing so much with them um i just see that with that situation it's just something that you're settling for at the time being it's just something that you're willing to deal with um just here in the present moment at this time but it's not necessarily something that you want you know like it's not like a goal but it's just something that you feel like you have to do that you have to step up that you have to take care of that you have to work through but as far as you know the rest of your challenges for others of you you're not it's it's you're not moving forward there's not much uh forward movement forward planning you're just kind of like at a standstill at this time it could be that you're waiting could be that you're expecting something or someone you have the ten of swords you have the ace of pentacles and you have the nine of cups so some of you guys might be finding it hard to focus on your stability to focus on your your goals here when it comes to manifesting or just acquiring more money you know like getting your finances in order but i do see even after whatever the situation is that'll come to light it doesn't necessarily have to be a betrayal it could but i'm seeing it's just a, a painful ending that's really what it was just a painful ending in order for you to move forward towards your wish fulfillment towards your success towards your abundance towards that new career towards that new job here but there's just certain things that you have to be willing to let go and there's certain things that you guys weren't seeing that you need to see because you're letting certain things pass you by you're letting certain things just you know go while you just stay there in the same position wondering why you're so bored why you're not moving 
it could be that this is a time that you need to wait but i'm also getting that there's a lot of things that you're just not seeing and you're not planning some of you aren't planning others of you you just you're pondering it's like you're thinking about it but there's not much action behind it and that's another thing it's like especially when you have you know opportunities coming to you when you have everything that you could be manifesting everything that you could be wanting and desiring coming towards you you are either choosing to ignore it for the most part you're choosing to ignore it really plain and simple you're choosing to ignore it um you're missing those opportunities especially when you're thinking about other things or other people or situations and not letting it play out the way it needs to play out you're you're missing out on those opportunities and you have opportunities here look you have the ace of pentacles the nine of cups the ten of cups i mean you have a lot of good things good fortune coming towards you um and it doesn't necessarily have to be with finances it could be you know with relationships it could be in regards to um you know your career your family so take it however it resonates apply it to your situation but there's a need for growth there's a need to move on there's a need to get you know moving in that direction and i can see why it might be difficult because some of you guys might feel like you don't have all the resources or the tools but at the same time they're they are there they are there for you so i'm gonna go ahead and shuffle these so we can get more cards let's start let's take a look into the justice and the ten of wands here sure that I shuffle these baby crying <laughs> i mean this could be your inner child you know crying for for those of you who don't have children or for any of you actually it could be any of you but i'm hearing baby crying you know it could be that you're needing to play more you're needing to be happy more you need to be more positive you know you're needing to to really get out there and be excited for something be passionate about something for once um you know, so that inner child could be crying and screaming from within, begging to come out, and you're just not letting it out. Look at that. You have the Tower card. <laughs> you have the Five of Pentacles. And then you have the Eight of Swords. So in the near future, what you don't... Oh, let me pull some more. Hold on. Before we get into it, let me pull some more. these two they're not only clarified by each other but you also have the tower you have the five of pentacles you have the eight of swords the nine of swords the ten of wands and then you have the magician card so i am getting that this is what you want or this is what you asked for not necessarily whatever the situation was that had ended it needed to end because it didn't really seem like you were going to do it it didn't seem like you were going to put forth that change or take you know that step all right so they're we're looking more towards the ten of wands here let's go ahead and get the ten of wands um whew. oh my god I was sleepy, even though I got enough sleep, but I'm sleepy. <laughs> that is interesting. I am sleepy, even though I got enough sleep. All right, so this could be for this situation here. We'll go ahead and pull on. Hopefully you guys can see these. 
we'll go ahead and pull on the Ten of Wands. Yeah, I mean, overall, like I was saying, okay. And then these cards came out again. We have the Two of Wands, the Four of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles yet again. So you guys are just ready to move forward into this new beginning, into this new version of yourselves in life and in general. You guys are wanting something new overall. I do see where this situation could play out you know equally in both favors to parents whatever the situation is in regards to your child or children um but for the rest of you this really has to do more so with your desires and your goals here like you're feeling that there was a bit of a delay you're feeling a little bit stagnant you're feeling stuck but partly because you either put yourselves in that situation or most of you would put yourselves in that situation and you just have the inability to see things clearly the way that you need to because you're you're stuck in your own head you're stuck in your own feelings your own thoughts right now at this time you know where things doesn't seem to be fair and that's what i'm getting here things doesn't seem to be fair and that's what you're attracting and manifesting in your life but i also see where you guys you know needing to remember that you have the power to tip the scales you have the power to create things that you want and you know the more that you continue to ponder and dwell on the situation the less you'll have the ability to learn or understand to see what you need to see the way you're meant to like i'm hearing i'm happy for you so some of you uh for those of you who might be married you could be getting a divorce you know you could you know things for the for the time being you know could end up being sour it could also have to do with certain relationships certain ooh, excuse me certain legal cases um with whoever whatever the situation is okay um it's a matter of your head and your heart you guys are needing to have that balance needing to find that balance and stop carrying you know so much energy so much responsibilities more than you need to a lot of you are carrying the load for other people when it's not necessary or you feel like you should maybe you owe them something or you feel like you owe them something but there are certain things in your life that you know needs to change that needs to happen emotionally physically and spiritually all combined especially here with the tower card There's something that needs to happen. Let me go ahead and pull more on this tower card. Because it's inevitable change. Inevitable change. Whoops. Okay, so this came out in reverse. Then you have the eight of cups and the seven of cups. So there's something that you guys need to do in order to make a decision moving forward. What it is that you want. It could have to do with your finances as well. I keep hearing something with a settlement or a legal case, you know, signing legal documents. Withdrawing from something or someone. Because I keep, once again, I keep getting this not fair. This is not fair because of whatever other people have done to you, whatever you have done in your life that didn't necessarily seem perfect or in alignment with what you wanted. Not necessarily, but I do see karma and justice. Could be for them, could be for you, could be for both. It's just you're you're needing to make a decision on what makes you happy what you want to do moving forward because right now it's a matter of <coughs> what the hell it's a matter of getting your your house in order here 
It's a matter of getting your house in order, needing to create a foundation, a stable foundation here because it's not. It doesn't necessarily have to do with finances, but um, it's just a matter of you needing to prioritize and not seeing the bigger picture here as well. That's really what it is, just basically summed up. Basically what I was saying, just you know, pretty much summed up. You guys aren't seeing the bigger picture here. You're probably sitting there thinking and wondering, why is this happening to me? Why can I get this? Why can I get that? You know, why every time I do this, something else happens? And you know, why do I keep putting myself in these situations? You know, why I keep dealing with people like this or you know, whatever the case. And it's like, it's not gonna get you anywhere. Whatever other people are telling you, it's staying in your head, it's staying in your mind, and it's also driving you crazy. I mean, it sucks. The energy, just all of this, it sucks. And I get it. I feel it. It's something that, you know, you're manifesting unconsciously, I just heard. It's happening unconsciously. Some of it consciously. Some of it you guys are aware of. It's just... Okay, so moving on with the Ten of Wands here. Damn, this really is a long reading. <laughs> All right, so moving on with the Ten of Wands, you have the Seven of Wands, the King of Wands, you have the Ace of Swords, the Two of Wands, the Four of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. So you're working hard and moving forward. You're trying to stand up for your family, trying to stand up for what you believe in, trying to stand up for yourself here, because not everybody's going to be in agreement. Um, you're preparing for those battles, you're preparing for those wars, even though it's unnecessary. That's also what I'm getting here. It's unnecessary. Like you're trying to defend and stand your ground about certain situations, which is understandable and acceptable. You know, I'm not saying not to do it, but um, some of it or the way that you're going about doing it is just unnecessary. That's what I'm that's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm getting from the situation, whatever it was. Um, you need a new, better tactic, a new, better plan uh, moving forward. You need a new, better situation. You need to look at things differently than how you have been understanding why it's happening for you and not to you and also that you were putting yourself there so like i was saying before in a sense this is what you wanted you know moving forward it's just you're not going to like how it's happening you're not going to like how it's going to come about it's going to take a lot of hard work a lot of dedication working diligently i mean it, it's going to take a lot of thoughtful planning into this new direction becoming a new version of yourself not just for you but for others around you um what else do you guys want to get on this situation you have the two of swords the eight of wands again and the two of cups so a lot of you it has to do with letting go of toxicity letting go of a particular connection or relationship um or some type of commitment that you have with somebody else or with something else and maybe you don't necessarily need to release it or let go of it but you need to learn to have that balance especially if you want to incorporate someone new into the situation here because I'm not seeing so much happiness. I'm seeing a lot of hard work, a lot of efforting. I'm seeing a lot of patience. But I'm also seeing a lot of sadness and sorrow and needing to rest because you guys spent too much time working. And you're also using work as a distraction as well. Some of you might even be depressed. And you can't be depressed. I mean, you're the king of wands. You're coming out as the king of wands. Why would the king of wands be depressed? <laughs> or at least you shouldn't be, you know? It's just how you're looking at certain things, you know? But you gotta understand, like, in order to move forward, of course, you would have to let certain things go. It's just if you're willing to. You're making that choice to stay where you're at. You're making that choice to be comfortable. You're making that choice to deal with the things that you wanna, you know, even if you don't wanna deal with it. You're making that choice to deal with it here in the present moment, to handle it like a man or woman. But I do see here with the Knight of Swords, the Two of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and the Two of Cups, you guys want a new beginning, especially with somebody else. You guys definitely want that. Um, 
king of the world the ace of wands and the three of cups so there is time for celebration i don't see that happening anytime soon but i'm also seeing that this will lead into march this isn't just you know happening in february it will lead into march as well but you have once again the world card the ace of wands and the three of cups so there is time for celebrating but i don't see that you guys want to celebrate too much because you're some of you might not have hit your pinnacle some of you might not you know be where you want to be in life but i do see that happening you know sometime in the future i do see you guys moving towards that working towards it being successful it's just are you going to go through with it are you going to deal are you going to go that's really that's really what it's about here at the end of the day maybe it even talks about finding that union and connection within yourself along the way as you're expanding your your financial prosperity your you know your your wealth here as you're expanding your knowledge expanding your consciousness expanding your heart because i don't see so much in the matter of your heart here like in this reading at all like i don't like you're needing to heal you're needing to regenerate you're needing to flourish you're needing to be you know reborn again but there's just so much things on your mind so much things that you feel that are in the way so many obstacles and it's like look release the baggage here with the ten of wands release the baggage Oh, I can't because I have this and I have that and I have all these other obligations. I don't have time to think about this person, even though I love this person. I want this, but I don't have time to think about it because I'm dealing with this now. And that's what I was saying beforehand. It's just a matter of you learning to balance to incorporate that if you want to. I mean, I see that is what you guys want, but I don't see much physical movement towards it. don't see that Oops. so let's go ahead and take a look at your wow wow the hangman that's your outcome card the hangman come on Taurus you know what you need to let go you know what you guys need to do of it could have to do with your financial wealth your financial gains but for the most part it could just be with the emotions and energies that are attached to you that you need to let go um especially because it's disturbing your frequency here it's disturbing your own energy and potential for growth your potential to trust in your intuition trust your guidance trust your heart there's a matter of the heart here with the queen of cups you needing yeah you're definitely needing to regenerate you're needing to cleanse your space cleanse yourself do some spiritual cleansing or meditating in order to remove these attachments or energies that you have because there is hope for a new you hope for the future hope for everything that you want i mean you could when doing this you will find that everything will be coming easy to you your wishes will be coming true may not be in the physical sense but could you know be in the spiritual sense energetic sense uh, sense but it's like you're you're biting more than you can chew but at the same time you need to let things go especially if this is you know this is something that you've been doing or you know this is the type of energy that you've been in for a long time non-stop then maybe the best tactic the best technique would be to just release those swords to release all of that like some things you can't necessarily control even if you want to in your favor but it's just a matter of you letting it go and just pretty much going within in order to find the answers that you need in order to hear the answers that you want to hear or that you need to hear i mean overall maybe there's a certain way that you do things that just isn't good enough and so it's just a matter of you releasing it you letting go that's really all it keeps talking about i mean once you do you will suddenly find passion love you know excitement 
in all these things. It's just a lot of you, you're choosing to carry those loads. You're choosing to carry those energies. You're choosing to do everything because you feel like you have to. You feel like you need to. You feel like you should because nobody else will. But you're putting yourselves down at the same time. You're not taking care of your own energy at the same time. I get that some of you guys might be stressed out. Some of you guys aren't happy with certain decisions and certain things or events that played out. But you're just going to have to let go and trust that everything will work out in your favor rather than try to control it and try to make things happen, especially with that seven of swords there. You're trying to control it and try to make things happen on your own. Maybe it's just one of those cases where you shouldn't. Where you shouldn't be worrying, where you shouldn't be stressing, where you shouldn't be, you know, focusing on that. Not everything is going to require physical action. But it will, you know, in time require inspired action. But it would have to come from the heart and not the mind. Come from the heart and not something that you just think of or create. Just because, you know, out of the whim. All right, so let's go ahead and get some final messages from your spirit guides, your higher self. Let's get three messages for you guys. <laughs> Again, with the Four of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. So in order for you guys, you guys would really have to get a move on. Rather than sitting there pondering about everything, you would need to start learning to take inspired action. I just heard heroism. Um, like some of you guys have a tendency of being a hero, being heroic, you know, being a savior for other people. Well, what about being a savior for yourselves? Okay, and this doesn't necessarily talk about marriage here with the Four of Wands, but it does have to do with celebrating, celebrating a win, celebrating a victory, celebrating a milestone that you just hit, especially here with the Knight of Pentacles, you know, expanding your, your, your wealth, expanding your consciousness, expanding your heart, expanding everything. It's like once you become more aligned and more in tune, once you let go of certain things and see, you know, certain things for what it really is, especially things that you're creating that you might not know about but the idea here is not to miss out on any opportunities especially because it'll help you keep moving keep growing keep expanding so that way you can have the life that you want so that way you can you know flourish you can experience things you know better have a great time, have more fun, excitement. I mean, that's why I was getting that crying baby. I mean, it could be that you guys have a crying baby at this moment, but I was also getting really and truly a crying baby within yourselves because you're just, you're tired. But there's just certain things that you guys are gonna have to work on, certain things you guys are gonna have to let go, especially to move forward. Maybe you guys need a retreat. Maybe you guys need to do that. Not that all of you will do it anyway, but maybe that's what you guys need. All right, so that concludes your reading Taurus for the remainder of February leading into March. Now let's go ahead and get on to Virgo. in the recent past you have the five of wands in the present you have the six of swords and they also want me to pull this one out too so this kind of goes hand in hand with the six of swords yeah we'll just put it like that all right let's go ahead and get your challenge card 
your challenge is the fool and then let's go ahead and get your outcome card all right so that's going to be your outcome card we will flip it over once we get to that section okay so we'll go ahead and do your yeah, we'll go ahead and do your challenges first before we get into everything else. Wrong deck. <laughs> okay. Let's see what your challenges are in regards to the full card here. You have the Knight of Wands, the Emperor, the Two of Swords. I'm getting here it has something to do with love or just something to do with carrying on, moving on, moving forward. You're not moving the way that you want to or not moving fast enough or there's a need for you to and do it blindly. Like you're not accepting whatever may come you guys are trying to control it but it also has to do with you stepping into this newness you stepping into the unknown you're just kind of pondering it you know like it's just it's wavering back and forth in your mind what you should do whether you should go with it and this has more to do with your desires it's like it's literally right there it's like right on the other side of that door it's just a matter of you actually going through with it taking that action to do so some of you aren't i'm not seeing much movement but some of you aren't and it could be in regards to a relationship as well but i'm seeing it has more to do with just you know your your career or this new move this new line of action here you have the knight of swords you have the queen of swords and you have the knight of cups so for others of you, it could be in regards to some type of opportunity coming your way or you not letting it in. It could be a person, it could be a thing, could be work, could be money, could be whatever. Um, but I'm seeing where you guys aren't letting it in. Like I'm seeing where you guys are like staring at it, but I'm not seeing you guys doing much about it. I'm seeing where like opportunities literally knocking at your door. You're just, you're hearing it, you're seeing it you're planning to open it you're planning you know everything carefully prematurely but you know especially when it comes to accepting help and accepting opportunities is mm, you're just like on the other side of that door just not opening it or not letting it come in you know oops that's interesting okay so that's pretty much done let's go ahead and take a look at your past here with the star card let's see what we got here with the star in the recent past for virgo okay oh. all right so even though these came out in reverse like i said i don't normally do it but if that's how it's gonna be then sure so in the star in the star um yeah in, in the recent past i'm sorry in the recent past here you guys have the king of wands you have the nine of swords in reverse you have the three of uh, two of wands i'm sorry and then you have the eight of swords um so there's something that you guys are needing to let go like you have certain fears regarding a situation here being stuck or the inability to move forward to take action and once again that was coming up as your challenges over here and here it is coming up in the, in the recent past It's just a matter of you accepting and welcoming those changes okay so not necessarily seeing that 
with a lot of you. It's like you have the energy, you have, you know, the right mindset or the right attitude, but this is telling a different story as far as you worrying. Once again, it's just a lot of, it has more to do with your self-esteem. Releasing those fears letting go of you know whatever anxiety or depression you guys might be feeling like clearly there's something that's keeping you guys up at night but it has more to do with you releasing it you letting it go whatever the situation is that's what you're being required to some of you guys it's, it's just you know a matter of you guys putting yourselves there feeling stuck being a victim It's like you have the opportunity to let go, especially here on this side, this version of the Eight of Swords. You have an opportunity here to let go, but you choose to stay in that situation. And the Star card is just a reminder to tell you to have hope and to have faith, to see the light, to see, you know, a new version in things. Interesting, guys. Interesting. And that could be literally any area of your life, any and all areas of your life. So, of course, take what resonates, apply it to your situation. So, in the present moment, let's see what you guys have going on. Let's see what you guys got going on here in the present moment with the Five of Wands. the eight of pentacles you have the judgment and then you have the five of pentacles so it could be trusting judgment of others trusting judgment of yourself like trusting your own judge, uh, judgment your inner judgment could be a lot of things <laughs> it could be a variety of things here at this time at this present moment it could be that you're feeling pushed you're feeling exhausted you're feeling conflicted conflicted about what exactly and what's interesting enough is that you have the five of wands and you have the five of pentacles which of course talks about worrying talks about loss a lot of struggle difficulties the need, you know, like you feeling left out. So you're trying to like climb your way, you know, in. So there might be a little struggle within yourself, a struggle within your, your household. I'm also getting where there's a lot of struggle here at work. A lot of struggle. Um something's not going the way that you want or in your favor what is that about there's a lot of judging here by you and by others it also talks about the connections that you have with other people what your relationship is like with other people like if you're being honest which you should be like the real question here is what are your motives or what are their motives where does your heart lie where does their heart lie in the matter you know as far as like what are what are your intentions on both sides yours and theirs you know whoever this person is or the energy that's attached to you um you have the moon card you have the six of pentacles and you have the page of pentacles so i mean of course of course it would have to do with a partnership some type of partnership here it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic for others of you it could 
but um, it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. It's just whatever connection, whatever partnership, relationship, commitment, whatever this is, it is something that needs to be worked on on both ends, mutually and respectfully. It is something that definitely needs to be worked on here when it comes to being honest. Like, it's, it's a matter of reciprocation here. Giving and receiving, being positive, having a different outlook. A positive outlook, being able to give to others as well as receive and vice versa. Okay? But there's something here... There's something here. Once again, once again, it would have to do with facing the truth, facing your fears. Because I see where both parties are doing the work, doing whatever you can, you know, but uh, I'm also seeing where neither one of you are like compromising, especially to make it pleasant. In order to receive and expect an abundance and overflow of things successfully. There's certain chores or habits. <laughs> There's definitely certain chores or habits at this time, at this moment. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I see where there's like potential for, for newness, potential for a new beginning, potential for, for love to come in, for help to come in. New opportunities for change here. It doesn't have to be physical, but... Just, you know, overall, just new opportunities of change here. But there's some, something that will be coming to light, coming to the surface. Just so that way you can be able to measure things out so you can actually see for yourself, not just how you're doing or how you're being, but how others are being and doing as well. You'll be able to see all of that. You'll be able to work on all of that. This does talk about you working on yourself a lot, though. It has to do with you guys working on yourselves a lot. So in the near future, which you guys don't see coming, oops, you have the Six of Swords and the Tower. Letting go, moving on, moving forward for the remainder of February. Focusing on your work. But maybe that's just it. You keep using that as an excuse. You know, avoiding the truth. Avoiding what really needs to be said or heard. Maybe you don't want to hear it. Maybe you feel like it'll be too painful. But there's a change that's about to happen that needs to happen for your own good. Especially if you're not letting it happen naturally. If you're not doing the work. Even though last reading we saw that you guys were doing it. Well, let's see. What do we have here for the Six of Swords and the Tower in the near future for Virgo? What do we have? What do we have? Page of Pentacles, the, I was supposed to say the Death Man, the Hangman, <laughs> and the Tower again. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so this came out sideways. So, and this is the Sun card, but in this, in this particular version, in this side, there is no Sun. But there's a need, of course, to take it easy. There's a need to, to calm and to relax. Hold on, we're going to get two more cards. You have the Four of Swords and you have the Star card again. Okay, this is interesting. I mean, what is interesting is that the Sun card, I never read cards like sideways. So it's very interesting to me that it would come out that way. But I am seeing where there's like a little bit of delay or self-doubt needing some type of inspiration here because of you know some turmoil or some change or disastrous moment you're about to experience 
um, or at least that's how you'll take it or how you'll see it. it doesn't necessarily mean that it is disastrous but it's just enough for you guys to be able to build a stable and steady foundation within yourself within your home you know within you know whatever relationship or dynamic that you have with others because that's unstable that is unstable like i see where some of you you're just more focused on the money aspect of things like you're detached emotionally from certain situations and certain people and connections based off of what happened in the past which once again has to do with you needing to leave it behind and letting it go so you can be better for yourself like whatever this is you guys just it's like you do a little bit but then mm, that's it but now something here and you have the tower card twice you have the tower card twice which means at this time at this moment it's inevitable it's definitely gonna happen and you're not gonna like it of course but it's gonna happen it's gonna be unexpected but it's to bring you new clarity new awareness has more to do with brightening up the place it's like once all this crumbles once all this you know whatever this is dies down this version this this layer this skin once this is shed once you really trust and go within meditate pray you know even if you guys don't do any of those things even if you guys don't do any of those things because there's no i mean this doesn't mean that okay well you know great like i'm gonna struggle or i'm gonna be stressed out or i'm not gonna get this or i'm not gonna get that no nope, there's just certain things that you have to be willing to let go and if you're not willing to let it go which i don't see you are it's gonna happen for you and you have the confirmation twice with the tower card it's definitely gonna happen for you whether you like it or not whether you like it or not it's just a matter of you remaining hopeful and present in this moment which is interesting very very interesting it's all for the good it's all for the better you guys will see it maybe not but that's just something that you guys need to work on and look at that for your outcome card you have death and rebirth look at that virgo death and rebirth let's go ahead and see what this is about you have the ten of wands the five of swords and you have the death card <laughs> again and then here you have the hermit card which they want me to put here it's not like one of the main cards like confirmation cards but it's also like a side like it's like another additional outcome okay so you have the death card confirmed by the death card again <laughs> but it's a happy death it's a happy and what i mean happy death i mean a happy sudden change of events change of persons change of attitude change of feelings change of emotions all of this is just it's happy and better this way all of this is it's different okay like different is good different is needed to get out of a certain outcome certain situation get out of your comfort zone change needs to happen overall and that's how you guys need to be looking at it seeing it as a good opportunity for ending a cycle for releasing those burdens and those baggage that you keep carrying that you keep holding on to you know the same energies and feelings that you have with other people even if it needs to stay in the past that's where it should be whatever had happened in the past you still hold on to those feelings and those thoughts you still attach those you know situations and things to those people to those situations and it's time to let it go it's not helping you at all it's time to let it go i'm also getting that that's mainly your messages there it's like you guys are being you know divinely guided and protected it's like you're you're trusting whatever even if you don't believe you're you're trusting something <laughs> that's what i'm getting here you guys whatever it is you guys are trusting something i don't know do not know i am thirsty my nose is starting to itch which is interesting because it wasn't itching for a good minute now suddenly suddenly virgo my nose is itching like crazy 
but it has to do with telling the truth the inability to see the truth to express the truth explain the truth so the question here is what is the truth what is the truth are you lying to yourselves are you lying to others are you trying to pretend that something is as is when it isn't trying to pretend that it is something when it really isn't I know you're probably thinking ah she's calling us out well if it helps you and gets you to make a change or make a difference in your life and in the dynamic with other people then sure if that means getting off your ass or getting off your high horse there Stop putting yourself on a pedestal. Okay. So let's go ahead and get three messages for other people. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's get, did I say for other people? I meant from your spirit guides, your higher self, God, or your angels, or whatever you believe in your intuition i don't know king of cups the lovers and death and rebirth again and you know that's one thing that wasn't shown in your reading at all when it came to the the relationships and the connection not just with others but with yourself how you treat yourself how you see yourself all of that depends on you all that matters to you there's a need to change that there's going to be some type of spiritual awakening, some type of something. <laughs> some type of something. Like I see this being, you know, one, being whole, being like a cycle here. Like I see this being like the main attraction, you know, something that you need to pay attention to. Going within, harnessing, you know, that power, that love, becoming more emotionally stable not just physically stable even though you guys are working towards that but being more emotionally stable and available like i have not seen any love in that reading any love put into anything that you guys are doing it's just more so stubbornness and i don't care or i'm not interested or you know i'm stressed out and this and that not to say that you guys don't have love but you need more love in your life it's just a matter of you letting it in. It doesn't necessarily have to be another person or family members, but there's certain things that you need to heal. There's certain things that you need to let go. So you can invite love in more. And it would change you. It would change you completely. It really would. You guys would love it. You would love this new version of yourself. I need to get my water. One second. But, um oh right here but um overall i mean that concludes your reading of virgo so if you find that it resonated with you leave the video a thumbs up leave a comment down below okay moving on to capricorn all right capricorn let's go ahead and get a good shuffle for you guys Nice, good shuffle. I'm hearing clean up the energy. Oh, <laughs> okay, maybe that's what I need to do.
I just gotta make sure that these are good enough as we prepare for your energy, for your spirit guides to come in. Oops. Let's go ahead and get into that. Let's go ahead and get started for Capricorn. Sorry that it took some time, guys. All right, so in the recent past, you have the Ten of Wands. In the present, you have the Ace of Cups. And then in your future, you have the Knight of Wands. You know what? I'm sick of you guys. You guys always have a good reading. I'm sick of it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, okay, I guess they want me to pull it out. I was like kind of contemplating whether or not if I should but I guess they want me to this is coming out as your challenge here the magician card is your challenge and then let's go ahead and get your outcome card Oops, there goes your outcome card which was supposed to be flipped over okay all right I mean if it wasn't gonna be the Hierophant it was gonna be the Queen of Pentacles next so either way same energy <laughs> same energy now let's go ahead and get some clarifications let me move this over here to the side capricorn all right let's focus on the ten of wands here what were you guys stressing about what were you guys worrying about i mean i see you guys working and leaving certain things behind like promise like you said you would in the recent um readings and for those of you who didn't see it go ahead and look into the previous readings for your sign all right and let's do this so yep 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 you guys are on fire that's what i'm hearing on fire what's that song is that by g unit or lloyd banks or something somebody <laughs> But I'm hearing on fire. I think that is by G. I don't remember. I forgot they used to be a group. <laughs> I totally forgot they existed. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. <clears throat> Always good to stay hydrated. <clears throat> All right, guys. So we're gonna need to pull out more cards. Oh, that's what I'm being told or guided to. So that's what we're gonna do. Mm -mm -mm -mm. what are some other cards that we got here for capricorn and you have the chariot you have the queen of swords and you have the queen of cups look at this isn't this lovely isn't she lovely or isn't he lovely oh maybe both who knows <laughs> oh my god i'm always excited to do capricorn's readings because your readings are always freaking full of light and love and excitement it's like that childlike energy that I'm getting here. Of course, with, you know, some seriousness, you know, moving forward, moving on. Like, there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of strive. There's a lot of energy. There's a lot of fire. There's a lot of commitment. Commitment to your goals, to your, your, your dreams, your desires. For others of you, it could be in regards to your relationship. But I'm seeing this as more so as you for everybody else. This is beautiful. This is just, this is really beautiful. <laughs> like, I'm really loving this energy here. Like, you're working hard, you're playing hard, you're working like that Wiz Khalifa song. Work hard, play hard, right? Releasing emotional baggage here, releasing whatever attachments that you have to certain situations, to certain people, certain things, certain places. It's like, I see you guys having fun. I see you guys taking control. I see you guys taking action. I see you guys, you know, reviving yourselves a little bit. You might have felt down at, you know, some point. But I see you guys reviving yourselves a little bit. I see you guys stepping forward successfully, victoriously. You're committed. Okay? You're committed to this growth. You're committed to, you know, whatever tasks are at hand here. You're committed to whatever uh, situation. Like, I see you guys being faithfully and committed to other people as well. You guys love and care for other people and you really are loyal 
you really are committed when it comes to that when it comes to doing what you say you're gonna do um like you'll end up figuring it out somehow <laughs> you'll end up going through with it somehow but there was a really nice big ending that had taken place for some of you for most of you you're still working on it which is a good thing you're planning towards it but don't worry the skies will be clear soon you'll be able to see clearly what you can do next where you can go how you can move forward others of you it's just a matter of you going forward regardless because everything else that you're leaving behind you will pass away you know it's like as you keep walking forward as you keep moving forward as you rise and become reborn and new like a child or like a phoenix here with the page of wands it's like as like this is you birthing a new you you being committed to your own growth your own success being more passionate loving nurturing rather than comparing yourself to others or comparing others to you or comparing others period <laughs> but i am seeing like where everything is just falling away as you just you know blindfully willingly cheerfully maybe not maybe some of you not so cheerfully but excitingly and knowingly pushing forward diligently just moving forward a lot of strategic planning here i'm hearing where is the love it's there i feel it it's not like bam like they are there but i feel it <laughs> i feel it all right so in the present moment you guys have um the ace of cups let's go ahead and get into that for you let's take a look at this present moment here right remember this is just for the remainder of february this could be leading into march as well this is just for the remainder of february all right so what else do we got here in the present moment for capricorn you have the knight of wands you have the ace of swords you have the three of cups you guys are ready you're ready to take action in a new direction you're ready to say f it i'm going through with it i'm finally doing it you know putting my mind to it putting my heart into it into everything that i love everything that i care about everything i'm passionate about doing it some of you it's a matter of you being victorious you coming on top you you know moving in that direction towards a new lover a new romantic partnership or it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic partnership but just any partnership but i am getting love here i am saying a new beginning in love here it could be like a newfound love for yourself a newfound appreciation for yourself even if you guys are single not in a relationship it is just a new oh excuse me found love and respect for yourself a lot of self-care overcoming certain fears reaching certain deadlines and goals but doing it with more love more care being patient and kind with it because it's growing slowly but surely it's growing i see it this is a very easy reading, Capricorn. Very, very, very easy reading. Like, I see you guys being victorious, being successful. Like, I see you guys wearing the crown. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. <laughs> yeah i mean that's what happens when you step up that's what happens when you become innovative creative full of passion love and light or at least needing to nurture that within yourselves a little bit more i am seeing that i am seeing some type of vacation too some of you guys will be going on a vacation or wanting to go on a vacation, or at least you're thinking about it or planning it. Could be with friends, family, cousins, even though that's still under family, but um, could be with anybody. God, Capricorn, your reading is so easy. Your reading is so easy. It's all right. We'll look into your challenges here. We'll see. 
All right, so in the near future, you guys have the Knight of Wands. You guys have the Knight of Wands. Let's go ahead and get some clarification on that, please. Look at that you have the ten of pentacles you have judgment and then you have the knight of swords followed by the hermit card here yep can we talk about how beautiful this energy is and even if you guys don't feel like it will lead to that even though it is it's leading to it because here what you had ending was the knight of pentacles right yes <laughs> Listen, don't mind me. Do not mind me at all. You guys are building your security, or at least, I mean, you're taking the time off, but I do see where you guys are building that security or needing to, wanting to, courageously. Like, I see, I see, I see the passion. I see you guys like pursuing your dreams pursuing um your goals here and it's like as you're pursuing that you're manifesting and that could be your that's also talking about your challenge here which does have to do with you manifesting you imagining a better brighter future for you guys you imagining prosperity and abundance and success for you guys and you guys are moving towards it I see you guys pursuing it. I see a lot of fast energy, a lot of fast movement, taking inspired action, um, going on this new adventure, this new soul adventure I just heard to spiritual awakening, spiritual enlightenment. And even if there's nothing going on in the physical, even if you know, you're know you not um, coming into a lot of money, even though some of you will be, but even if it's not the case, it could just be overall you know, with abundance just abundance and prosperity i see you guys moving towards that so even if it doesn't feel like a financial gain or financial win even if you didn't just come across some money physically this is just talking about spiritual gain spiritual wealth a new mindset new clarity a new level of awakening to um discovering new passions i'm also seeing something with old passions sparking or being revived here that's also what I'm seeing. But, um, God, my nose itch is like crazy. But I am seeing where you're becoming more skillful. Understanding that you manifest the things that you want. Some of you guys might feel like you're struggling with that a little bit. Let's go ahead and take a look into that real quick. Some of you guys might feel like you're struggling with it. It's like one minute you have it, the next minute you don't. Or others of you could be starting to get into it that's also what I'm hearing for those of you who aren't necessarily familiar with it or wanting to I could see where you guys are starting to so let's go ahead and take a look at to your challenge here with the magician it has more to do with taking action and inspired action letting go of certain outcomes okay like what I'm also seeing here is that you guys have the tendency to like review your current situation your current circumstances and comparing it to your desires. It could be that you're doing too much or too little. You have the Ten of Cups, you have the Knight of Cups, and then you have the Devil card here, which is interesting. Very, very interesting. Because it has to, like, especially if you want to move forward towards your desires, to have, you know, your wishes and everything realized and fulfilled because they definitely want me to talk about this because there's some of you that are new to it um there's others of you that you know you are you are familiar with it but you're just not doing it you're probably thinking that there's something wrong with the technique um one it has to do with your belief your belief and your faith of course because when it comes to imagining things that along with faith goes hand in hand and if you don't have faith and if you don't believe in a sense that you know if you're trying to manifest something right let's say you're trying to manifest um uh a brand new home you've never owned one before you might not even have the funds for it but you're trying to manifest that new home and it's like even though you know you constantly live in your apartment 
you're sitting there trying to manifest this new home, right? That's where your focus should be on. Understanding that you have the power, you have the skills to be able to manifest and bring anything about. You know, it also has to do the power with the power of thoughts. We understand that thoughts become things, but it's also in regards to your feelings. How are you feeling when you're manifesting? How are you feeling when you're planning? Okay, it's like when you think of something, are you doing it afterwards? Because, oh, you know what? Like, maybe this will lead me to my goal. It, I mean, you have the right mindset, yes. But when it comes to least action or no action, or at least taking inspired action, that's something that you guys would have to wait. You don't just jump into it like, you know what? I want to manifest a button, for example. Let's say you want to manifest a button. As simple and small as that may be, you want to manifest a button. Then you're probably thinking, oh, you know what? I have this idea of going to Walmart. Then you go and buy the button. No, that's not taking inspired action. That's just you doing the work when you're not supposed to. That's you going against nature because you don't entirely believe in, you know, in having faith. You don't entirely believe that the universe will conspire to give it to you, you know, however it's meant to give it to you. You don't think that it'll come right now, so you'll feel like, okay, well, you know, I gotta work on it. So it's kind of like, you know, something like that. You guys have a tendency to feel like you have to work against nature um, rather than letting nature do its thing. When you let it do its thing, it'll come to you. Otherwise, it'll continue to be a standstill, okay? Um, so that's just a few messages for maybe most of you in regards to manifesting your desires and it could be anything it could be a relationship could be money could be career could be love could be anything but it also has to do with your attachment to your present moment your attachment to you know a certain way of thinking and being you know so if you're conscious of being let's say if you're conscious of not having a lot of money but you're trying to manifest a lot of money what do you think is going to happen? You know what I mean? It's like, what do you think you're going to give into more? What do you think is, you know, the dominant energy here? The feeling of lack. The feeling of not enough. So you always have to, you know, go within and really look and see how you feel when it comes to these things. Of course, you have the power within your own hands. It's just a matter of you juggling it. You balancing yourself. The feminine and masculine qualities. When you trust and you go within, you'll know because your spirit guides or, you know, whatever will end up telling you and guiding you in that direction. I'm seeing a lot of power struggle here. I'm hearing a lot of power struggle here within this situation. Because of your attachments to certain outcomes, you know, it's kind of like you're, you're wanting to plant a seed. You're wanting to let it grow or watch it grow. But then it's like you keep taking the seed out just to see if it grew. <laughs> rather than leaving the seed there or you're probably holding on to the seed so 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 tightly because like oh you know what you know I, I really need to believe i really need to make sure that this happens i really need this to happen it's like put this shit back in the ground <laughs> it's like what the hell are you doing put it back in the ground it's like why are you you don't make that happen okay you don't do that <laughs> Stop taking it out, putting it back in just to see whether it grows or not. Just move, you know, trusting and knowingly that it will grow. If you want to change your situation, if you don't like your situation, then maybe there's a need for you to, um, you know, not only be grateful, see things, you know, in a different lens, but you have the ability to change your outcomes. The problem is, is that you keep holding on to the outcome or how it should happen. Or the fact that you need to make it happen. So some of you guys need to hear that. Some of you guys need to work on that. Others of you, there's a level of balance here. A knowingness of, you know, you going within, trusting your feeling, trusting your intuition. Um, and <laughs> once again, here you have the Hierophant, which talks about literally the same thing that I just described about that spiritual awakening spiritual enlightenment trusting your intuition it also has to do with traditional non-traditional beliefs as well um when it comes to doing things you know so quote unquote the hard way so you have seven of cups you have the three of wands and you have the hermit card yep it's going with the flow going with ease picking and choosing what you want knowing what it is that you want and then going for it 
um, doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do something about it right now in this moment but you want to be able to ask your guides or God or your angels or whatever it is that you believe in um, for guidance for you know the clear path like you really want to be able to connect with your higher self here in truth in theory you want to be able to connect with your higher self um, to receive whatever it is that you want so that way you can start moving in that direction it's like you have the world you have the power you have everything right now in this moment it's like what you choose go with it don't worry about you know the outcome don't worry about whether this is good enough for you if you don't believe it you can't conceive it point blank simple if you need help and it doesn't necessarily have to be with manifesting but if you need help with other areas of your life go with them ask in silence or pray about it and then you guys will be straight you guys will receive it however you're meant to receive it okay Overall, there's just a need for you guys to have faith, to trust that everything will work out, that you will get the relationship that you want, or that things in your current relationship will work out. It could be a relationship with anybody, really. Let's go ahead and get some final messages for you guys. I thought your reading was going to be longer, because usually it is. <laughs> It's somewhat. It's somewhat. All right. Like right now, I'm also hearing that you guys are probably experiencing challenges this month or you're needing to overcome some type of challenge. But there's something to do with your challenges here. They might be revealing your challenges for you. Not just what we saw here in the cards, but, you know, overall spiritually, like maybe through your dreams. I'm also getting something with fire. Like I'm picking up on that Knight of Wands energy here. That spark, that fire, that passion. Um, rather than doing the same thing over and over again, try to do it differently this time. All right, so let's go ahead and get last three, oops, last three messages for Capricorn. Everything's going to be turning and going in your favor. You guys are, look at that. Look at that. I mean, need I say more? Like really Capricorn, need I say more? <laughs> I mean, everything that we done talked about, clear thinking, having that balance of spiritual, mental, physical blend there, being brave, being courageous, Stepping forward, making wise and smart decisions here towards the next step. But also talks about going with the, I just said going with the future. Going with, no, going with the flow is what I was trying to say. Going with the flow. You definitely need to go with the flow. Um, because things are definitely turning in your favor so long as you keep, you know, going in that direction. It all has to do with endings, cycles, changes, you know, things coming to an end here. I mean, you guys will have a turning point in your life. So just to be ready and be prepared for it. They definitely want you guys to be prepared for it. God, my nose is itching like crazy. Like, allow yourself to transform, allow yourself to become new, um, to be reborn. Allow yourself, you know, to go with the flow so that way you can find... You know all the things that you're looking for and watch it fall into place that's another thing watch how it falls into place without you having to do very little to it um definitely pay attention to that but it all talks about you planning your future planning your you know planning ahead knowing what it is that you want releasing the comfort zone once you know what you want you can actually start getting those wheels and everything turning that momentum going and then you'll know You'll know in due time what's meant for you, what you're meant to do, how you're meant to do it. 
All right, Capricorn, so that pretty much concludes your reading. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching. I hope that this helped and resonated with you. And if it did, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Um, make sure your notifications are turned on so you can stay alert when I post more of these videos for you guys. And I will see you guys next reading.